Hold on. Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sage, and if you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click the description box. The link will be in there. Go ahead, throw me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit the bell, that way when I post something or go live, you will be notified. Thanks for being here. And to everybody returning, thanks so much for coming back. Right now, this is the air signs. I am going to break it down individually between Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So don't fret, it will not be all combined into one. But this is for the month of November, okay? So let's jump into it. We're going to do Aquarius first. What does the month of Aquarius look like for <laughs> the month of Aquarius? What does the month of November look like for our lovely Aquarius? What does the month of November look like for Aquarius spirit? Show me what we need to see. Show me what we need to see. Okay, so Aquarius, you're in your head about something. Wow, I hope y'all could see what just happened there. That was really cool. Aquarius. Anything else for Aquarius? Anything else for Aquarius? Okay. All right, Aqua. Let me go ahead and throw down these cards. What I love to see in this reading for you, Aquarius, is your own card is coming out. It's the star card, and that's all about hope and inspiration. So I do feel within this month, Aquarius, that something that maybe you've been in your head about, something that, you know, you've been really um, hoping for, you know, um, I feel like you were taking rest from this situation, okay? But yeah, it was like you still had hope for it, okay? You still dreamt of it, you know? You still looked up at the stars and, you know, made a wish upon a star, I'm hearing, for some of you. But I do see that there is going to be some type of brand new beginning within the month of November, Aquarius. Now, the thing that kind of makes me a bit uneasy about this reading is the fact that you have the five of pentacles here and if you notice in the picture here she's crying she has blood on her hands she's hurt she's crying she's not happy I have a fly around to me <laughs> she's not happy Aquarius okay so I feel like there might have been hope for a new start hope for that new start something that you were very patient for to come around um but I feel like it's going to leave you in a state of feeling very confused feeling a bit hurt being in your head Quite a few different energies, but this is the main storyline that I'm getting here. It's just like, you know, there was this brand new start. You were patient with it. Um, it's something that, you know, you really, really felt was going to come back around. I'm seeing with the infinity there, like, it's like you, you saw it. You saw it. You knew it was going to come back. And... I feel this month, let's gain a little bit more clarity ourselves on this five of coins, five of pentacles, and this four of swords energy. Okay. Okay, so, you know, I feel like in the past, this was leaving you upset. 
You've cried over it. You've shed your tears. You've had your time to do healing, I'm even feeling. And I feel like here we have the Ace of Swords. It's like this new opportunity again. With the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, like, and, ga and gaining, like, more clarity on the situation, too, I feel, Aquarius. I feel like the situation's going to bring you more clarity. So because you're upset and in your head and everything, like, I feel like you're going to get to the heart of the matter and you're going to have this breakthrough. And you're no longer going to feel in that... I'm feeling like, just feeling like forgotten about, feeling like left behind, feeling like not really part of the plan, you know, but like something's going to happen this month where it's like, okay, maybe I am part of this plan. I like it. I like it. Let's see what else we have here for the four swords. Four swords is all about resting, okay? So I feel like this situation, like you may not be giving it much attention or you haven't been giving it much attention, okay? And the Four of Swords here, I feel like when the time comes with this situation here, I definitely feel like um, it's like there's so many emotions. That's what I'm feeling like this Four of Swords energy is more so about. Like, there's so many different emotions here. Like, I have to balance this out. I have to balance this out. Like, whoa, what the hell is going on here? So somebody was pulling back from the situation, I feel, because they are in their head about it. But they got to kind of reassess it. They have to kind of, like, reevaluate. Like, what do I really want from the situation? I have a lot of different options on the table, and I have a lot going on in my life as well, so how can I balance this? Like, how can I fit this person in my life is also how I'm feeling. I'm going to pull a clarifier on Ace of Cups here. So this new, this new start, this new opportunity, yeah, this is something that you have been wishing for, straight up. It is a wish. This new start revolves around a wish, something you have been dreaming of. It's like it's finally here. So can uh, we have more clarity on the strength card here, please, spirit? Phone card, phone card, please, spirit. Okay. okay. All right, so... With the strength card here, I don't know if there's distance between you and this person, but I feel like this is definitely like a love spread, okay? And I just feel like somebody in the midst of you feeling as though you want to give up, you don't want to be that person with the strength, like, you're just in the mentality of, like, F it, like, if it, if it happens, it happens, like, and while you're in that energy, I feel like someone's gonna come in with an offer, and I do feel like this may be some type of romantic offer, it could even be going and traveling together, is what I'm feeling, so, I know I kind of scattered that up here. I go with the way that my intuition tells me to read and flow. So that's what we're doing. And we're going to just check in here with the star card. As I said, this is Aquarius's card. This is your card. This is hope. This is inspiration. And would you look at that? This new energy coming in, okay? Some of you, this could be starting a new job, new trade, like going to school or something. But I just, I feel like, it's like you've had this hope, this wish around this new start. This is for sure a new start. Absolutely, 110%. There is a new start here for you, Aquarius, in this month. 
this just happened to fall out as well. And this is all about kind of like reaping the rewards. Like you've done the dues. Now it's time for you to like start profiting from it. Like whether it was like the self healing that you did or whatever it may be, it's just like, now's the time spirit keeps saying like, now is the time. So I feel like something very big is going to happen for happen to you for this month, Aquarius. I really do. I feel like it's something that you have been hoping and dreaming for. And it could be a person. It could just be like, hey, I'm dreaming of this, this amazing love in general, you know. It could be something like that. Um, so just take that how it resonates. But yeah, absolutely beautiful reading, Aquarius. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to, let me see here, I'm actually going to cut this off here, and the bottom of the deck I just heard, okay, I feel like overall for this month, with this energy and this new start comes some agreements, it comes um, there, there's going to come some type of decision, like, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Especially with the Knight of Cups here, sometimes that does talk about relocating. So, like, you may talk to somebody about, like, maybe you don't live close to them, but you're interested and you've been dating for a while. This could very well be that, like, hey, you know what? This is, like, what we should do, you know? It's some type of agreement I'm feeling that you guys are going to be, like, coming to within the month of November of how and what we do to go forward from here. Because there's a new start. It's our wish that we've been, like, dying for, and it's finally here. So, congratulations, Aquaria. All right. So, we are going to move on to Gemini. I will go ahead and get into that. I was debating on whether or not to make different readings, but I don't like a video separately, but I'm not feeling that right now. So we're going to do this. All right, Gemini. Let me just do a timestamp for you. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Look at that. Meant to be. So Gemini. All right, Gemini, what's up for the month of November 1st? For the month of November 1st, for the month of November. You know what I meant, guys. I feel like some of you might be quitting smoking cigarettes this month. I don't know why. It just popped in my head. I, like, felt like an inhale. That was good. Cool. All right, Gemini. Let's have at it. What do we need to see? What's going on with our Geminis for the month of November? What do we need to see, Spirit? What does Gemini need to see for the month of November? What do we need to see, Spirit, for the month of November? That's definitely not, okay, I was going to say that's definitely not it. Okay. <laughs> Speak to me. Talk to me. Some of you, yeah. Wow. Uh, this is huge, guys. You have four major arcanas that have come out. You're going through huge-ass changes Huge ass shift in the month of November, Gemini. Anything else for my Geminis? Anything else? Spirit's like, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it going, my good man. Okay. So, beautiful reading. Possibly, right? All right, Gemini. Got some really cool cards here. It looks like you're waiting. For, for clarity, 
all right? Straight up, you are you need some clarity on a situation. Might be a um, Aquarius. This is Aquarius's card. Could be a Leo. I'm feeling like you're going to have to come to some type of agreement this month with somebody, okay? I feel like, honestly, this is the shit that is going to lead to marriage. Straight up. This is my marriage card right here. If you can't see it, now you can. This is serious stuff. And for some reason, Gemini, I feel like you're being played. You feel like you're being played. You aren't being played, but you think in your head that you're being played. Like a freaking fiddle I just heard. You're not being played. Like, have the strength to realize, like, hey, um, I deserve happiness. This is exactly what I want. Now, for some of you, Gemini, you might not even almost be thinking about marriage, which is totally cool. I get it. Um, I'm just saying this situation here, it's like once you get past this warm-up period of figuring out, there's something you have to agree on. But you got to get past this point of like deceiving. Like who's deceiving here? Is it is it you deceiving somebody or is it that... You just think that you don't deserve happiness and, like, you just think it can't be true. Like, what? what is it? All right. Why is the star card here? One card, please. Got a whole slew flying out. All right. So, star card. Like I said, it could be an Aquarius. I just feel like, um, you know, that's my hope and inspiration card as well. Yeah, see, I feel um, the hope and inspiration, this is all around a wish. Something you have been hoping, dreaming, waiting for, what have you, like, ta-da, I finally can believe in it, you know? Why is the strength card here, spirit? Why is the strength card here? All right, so I feel like you're going to have to have courage in this situation or strength because it's going to maybe involve some money. It's like taking that risk. Um... I don't feel like it's like, hey, I'm handing over money to somebody. I just feel like it's that energy of like, if I want this, I have to have the strength. I have to have the courage and realize that I know how to do this and it can be done and I can obtain it. I just have to work for it. It's not going to be thrown at my doorstep. It's something that needs to be worked for. That's it. Clean and simple. And... It's like, I it's just, I just feel like, yeah. What's, why is the moon card here? Okay. For Gemini, Gemini, why is the moon card here? Okay. So you feel stuck. You feel stuck. And I feel like, yes, this is all in your head. Look at how this guy's, Look at how this skull is burning on fire. You see it? Like all those thoughts and stuff are like stuck, and trapped in there. And I feel like you are feeling in your head and you're literally trapping your own self, holding yourself prisoner, I'm hearing, of your own thoughts because you feel like somebody is just literally out to get you. Like... <laughs> But yet, like, uh, like it's your wish. It's literally everything that you wanted and shit. Your freaking happiness. Your marriage, if you want it. Get ahead and have it. And, like, okay. Okay, so this agreement. Okay, 
So I feel like this agreement that you have to warm up to, I feel like you feel as though it is going to cause an argument. It's going to cause tension. It's going to put you in a place where maybe not with that person, but with somebody else. Like, I just feel like, you know, judgment. I just heard like, you might feel like you'll be judged. Um, but there's this, this, this agreement. Yeah. So the sun card, like I said, happiness, clarity, you're getting it. First of all, I put this card back, and I don't know why, okay? It is the Five of Swords, and that's all acting like, woe is me, I'm trapped. I'm trapped in my thoughts. I can't get out. I can't get out. You have clarity right here, and if you already don't see it, Gemini, you're going to get blasted in the face, and you're going to have some major breakthrough in the month of November. Get ready for it. It's coming. If you didn't believe, you're going to believe. Shit's intense. Get ready. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Could be traveling involved. Could be changing, re talk about changing residences and stuff like that. Could be changing residences, whatever it may be. I feel like there's something to do, like, with some travel and stuff. Um, now, because of it coming out in the place of the Hierophant card... I do feel like this is nothing that's going to happen overnight. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some planning, some patience, la di da di da You know, Berlin Wall wasn't built in a night or a day. I forgot that quote, and I've used it before because it's true. But, yeah, you are being told right now, Gemini, put the crazy thoughts away them aside. Stop torturing yourself. It is time for a new beginning. That's it. You need to accept change. It's in your face. Spirit can only throw so much shit at you until you wake up and you're like, oh, oh, okay. That's what's going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Stop self-sabotaging yourself. Stop worrying about the what if. Stop worrying about how. Stop worrying about, oh, is this going to cause controversy? Is this going to cause somebody to get upset? Is this going to hurt somebody's feelings? Who cares, Gemini? Do it. Because your beautiful, happy ending and wish is right on the other side. So send it. Woo! <laughs> okay, Libra, last and finally, we have Libra, and then we are going to do another video for the other sign. Let's see here, two, three, two, Libra. All right, air signs. Typical air signs in their head, like, get out, stop worrying about it, stop worrying about it, stop worrying about it. Like, just take a risk for once. All right, so, Libra, what's up for November, the month of November for my Libras? What's up? What's up for Libras? For the month of November. What do my lovely Libras need to see for the month of November? What do the Libras need to see for the month of November? All right, you had an argument with somebody, Libra. Somebody that you were super freaking close to, Libra. What's up? What's going on? Libra, 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 Libra. For the month of November. You may not have had this argument yet, Libra. Not sure. Let's see what else comes out for you. 
target. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is energy with the air signs, feeling all trapped and feeling like, <laughs> stop feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> Just being real. All right, so Libra, you've been waiting on something, okay? You've had a falling out with somebody who you were super close with. Could be a friend, could be a lover. Take it how it resonates. Not going to resonate exactly with everybody. I feel like this was a very powerful connection, a very powerful friendship, relationship, whatever it may be. But I felt, I feel as though you were feeling very trapped in it. You were really, like, you had the happiness. You had, like, that good vibe going but like you just you felt like there was something like lacking I'm hearing maybe it was like let's pull some clarifying cards before I so for this Something you worked so hard for, Libra. Yeah, it couldn't. This is somebody from your past. Okay, so it's like you worked so hard for this. I'm hearing like you literally moved mountains. Like you got cuts, scratches, you know, like you, you. Pro I'm hearing you also beat yourself up a lot through this. This is definitely past life connection. Um, but this is somebody coming back possibly in the month of November, somebody that you thought like, Hey, you know what? It's, it's so painful. It's so over. Like, there's no way, like I am beaten bloody. Like how the hell, you know, how can there be anything from that? I feel like if the person doesn't come back, they're thinking of you or you're thinking of them. Chances are, if you're thinking of them, it's because they're thinking of you and vice versa. Why is the Four of Wands here? A little more clarity. Why is the Four of Wands here for Libra? Yeah, it's like something that required you. It took you a lot to admit that, like, you wanted this commitment with this person. Like, the Four of Wands is a very, it can also be marriage. The Hierophant, Four of Wands, those are more of my, like, marriage cards, okay? But um, it's just, it's about unity, number one, okay? So whether, like, you, you believe in that and marriage and all like that, it's something like that I feel like you put your pride behind, I'm hearing. You put your pride aside and, like, really really like tried like really really tried at this I feel like this is I'm hearing like it was out of character for you like very out of character for you to do something like this so now we get in this energy of like waiting well like why are we waiting what are we waiting for what are we waiting for Oh my God, this is crazy, Libra. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Are you waiting for somebody to come see you? Are you waiting to go see this person? Are you traveling to go see them? Like, cause there's movement. Like you're, you're going somewhere here. You're off, you're off, you're leaving. So, and I'm here in a helicopter. Yeah, like, you're off. You're going. You're leaving, Libra. I feel like in this month, you are going to be traveling maybe to this person. This person may be traveling towards you. You may see them somewhere. Um, well, yeah. It's like you're waiting. So, this is interesting. 
And this card fell out too. Mm. All right. So I feel like there's a lot of power around. It's a very powerful connection. Okay. Um, four of wands also can be twin flame energy. Okay. So take it how it resonates with the fool and the devil card. Um, I just feel like you took this leap of faith and then like, I don't know, cheering like this, like completely just suffocated the situation. Like, I feel like there was addictions, bad habits, things as such like that. But also, I'm also feeling like between how powerful this connection is, I feel like you're so bonded to this person and I feel like it's driving you crazy and I feel like you just want to like take that leap. You want to risk it. I feel like you already did risk it, but like now you like want to like really risk it. I hear like, like doesn't matter what happened in the past. I'm hearing it's like, I, it's what you knew and know you want. So, like, now it's, like, okay, now, like, I'm going to take this risk, this leap of faith again, because, like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this person to come to me, or I'm waiting to go see this person, like, whatever it may be. Like, Libra, holy hell. And you feel, like, you're feeling like you're not being seen. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like you're not being seen. Why are you feeling like you're not being seen? Whoops, sorry. All right, so with the six of wands, I'm feeling like you feel as though you're not being seen. You're feeling like you're trapped because you're not seeing any success in this connection. Like, I feel like it's just very just... Probably, you might not even be in contact with this person. Anything else for Libra? I feel if you reach out to this person, there's still a lot of passion and love there. Jeez, um. We can't take all those spirits. There's the chariot again. Yeah, I feel, okay, and with the high priestess, it's like, I feel like you have this inner knowing of what's going on. I feel like you're, like, almost, like, talking to this person, like, in your head. Um, telepathically communicating with this person. Big time. And here's your car, Libra. It's like you have to make this fair decision. Fair decision. I can't talk. Fair decision. I don't feel like you're being fair to yourself. I don't feel like you're being fair to other people. I feel like you are not... When I say not being fair to yourself, it's because like you're not even speaking your truth. You're not even existing in your own truth. It's like you're taking the steps and things. Yeah, you're taking these like petty little steps to like get there but like then like it's like there but you know like it's not gonna do with it um here's more travel air signs you guys are doing a lot of traveling in november or you could be at a distance from somebody lots and lots and lots of travel energy thinking of moving, things like that. Alrighty. I think that's all I have for you. You're not stuck. It's a very interesting month for you, Libra. Um, I think it's time to just stop waiting and like putting things into action, you know? You're literally 
It's like, what is with the air signs self-sabotaging themselves because they just think that they aren't good enough, I'm hearing, either. Like, you guys are good enough. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to jump off and go on to water signs. See you on YouTube and see you next month. And check out your weekly reading as well on my YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading, personal reading, one-on-one, -on -one, sound healing, anything like that, just go ahead and click the link in the description box. Have a great day.